But since we were talking about the BJP, let's also talk about the kind of alliances they have been trying to stitch up down in Tamil Nadu. Well, the party is stitching together this alliance of sorts in the state with all the parties except for the two big parties, AIA, DMK, as well as the DMK. But the BJP has been working overtime to cobble up the numbers in the run-up to the Lok Sabha elections, leaving no stone unturned to ensure a return to power after a gap of 10 years. Well, after the PMK and Vico's MDMK pledges to support Modi, this time around it's Vijay Kant who's done the same. Well, this might just be helping BJP garner close to 25% votes in a state it has no presence in. Well, the BJP's foray into Dravidian territory is not without compromise, though. The BJP will be contesting 12 out of 39 seats in the state. It will leave the remaining 27 seats to the other three allies it has stitched in a coalition. Well, this is a major coup of sorts for the Hindutva party, which has very little resonance in Tamil Nadu. In fact, let's go across to our correspondent, Sagai Raj, who's joining us uh, with more on this. Well, it almost seems like allies are going to play a huge, huge role when it comes post-2014 uh, elections. After all, BJP has very little presence down south. Modi's pan-India image is constantly being questioned. So the saving grace might just be their allies. Definitely, when you talk about allies, definitely Modi is going to be eye on Tamil Nadu, especially AIDMK and DMK. So we need to wait and watch how it is going to be in Tamil Nadu. When you come to Karnataka especially, now the recent uh, development which has been taken place yesterday is the entry of Sri Ramlu. Sri Ramlu has made a statement yesterday in Bellari saying that he might merge with BJP anytime sooner. The talks are on. And if, uh, if Sri Ramlu merges with BJP, it will be going to be a major boost for Modi right. and BJP. Because right. he has a stronghold in Bellari, Koppal, Gulbarga and many other places. He might merge with BJP anytime sooner. The talks are on. And if, uh, if Sri Ramlu merges with BJP, it will be going to be a major boost for Modi right. and BJP. Because right. he has a stronghold in Bellari, Koppal, Gulbarga and many other places, especially in North Karnataka. Even when you see Modi has addressed nearly 11 rallies, no, BJP has addressed nearly 11 rallies, which includes six rallies of uh, Narendra Modi, two rallies of uh, Rajnath Singh Chauhan, two rallies of uh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan, and one rally of uh, LK Advani. It clearly shows that in South India, it is going to be mainly focused on Karnataka. And BJP has won nearly 19 seats out of 28 seats in the previous Lok Sabha election. And they want to retain those seats and they want to increase that number from 19 to anything more than that. Then that, that is going to be a major boost. Even if you see yeah, much before BSY joined BJP, he, ha he has announced that KJP will, will be a part of NDA. That was a major boost as well. So Ally is going to pay, play a major role in South India. So we need to wait and watch YSR Congress from Andhra Pradesh, uh, AIDMK from Tamil Nadu, and uh, the merge of uh, B uh, BSR Congress to B BJP will be a major boost. Well, absolutely. In fact, do stay on with us, Sagai. We will come back to you later. But also, let's tell our viewers how in a major setback for the Congress in Andhra Pradesh, its former minister and NTR's daughter, Purandeshwari, has now joined Modi's camp. The speculations are that others may just be following suit. So a lot has changed in the Andhra politics after its bifurcation. In fact, uh, Sagai was telling us about some of the developments. In fact, TRS and Jagan, Kumar, uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy's chances have multiplied after the announcement. They both have denied any alliance with either the BJP or the Congress. Now, Modi is eyeing an alliance with the TDP's Chandrababu Naidu as well in the state, though nothing has been formulated as TDP is wary that an alliance would jeopardize its electoral chances.